Hey, what's up guys, Song Dub. So, I'm gonna show you how I tap into the fuel line to do the, uh, uh, the, the pressure check on my pump. Um, so I went down to the local junkyard, pick and pull, or you pull, I pull it. And I got some parts from there. So what I did is um, uh, I disassemble this line right here. I cut it off right here and undo the connection down there. And I took a couple of them just for spare parts. So here's a, here's one connection right here. Basically this is the pipe right here going down there with a the connector down there. I just unplug it. And I went ahead and got some extra plug like this right here because this is this is handy, quick connect. And uh, and I made this right here. Uh, this is this end right here that connected to the bottom near the sidewall. And here, I just got some extra fuel line from the uh, wrecking yard or jump yard. And here's the extra part that I got right here. There's another quick connect. It's the same one as this right here. So when you uh, cut this thing off right here and remove the plastic, uh, then you get a nice little connector that uh, I went ahead and used for this end for an easy disconnect and this will plug into this part right here and this will plug into that end now I got a valve stem I can hook up the uh, the gauges and everything I can do a quick check on my uh, fuel pressure see if it's normal or not alright um, let me go and connect everything together uh, pretty simple I mean you can when you go down to the uh, the jump yard, just um, get some extra parts. Just uh, connect them all together and say the fuel line, and uh, they just charge you one price for it. Let me go and connect the uh, lines and do a fuel pressure check. And go ahead and uh, disconnect this right here. I just have a little rag down there to catch any gasoline coming out. And I got this part taken off. And let me remove this cover. There's a little cover right here to keep the uh, fuel line intact. Like an extra safety. Alright, that piece is out. Here's a piece of drip line that I cut to use to get the uh, connector off. If you had to buy that too, it costs around 15 bucks at least. And uh, let me go ahead and connect the uh, this thing I'm rigged up. In. Now I can go ahead and hook up the uh, gauges here and do a quick test. Everything secure down. Go ahead and connect my gauges to it. Right, cross my finger, hope nothing leaks. So we're gonna put a rag down here in case this part leaks. This connect is designed to connect on the other end. Um, they're very similar. So this is from 
the rail and this is from the bottom of the car coming from the gas tank uh, they're they're almost identical except this one here is a little bit longer so there's a little play right here just a little bit there's an o-ring in there and it should stay and once it if the, once you have pressure in there, you should push it out a little bit and it'll lock, it'll stay, stay put. All right, we're going to turn on the engine. So far so good, there's no leak. And I'm getting 50 PSI, and that's good right there. Right, let me go and grab the engine. So far, there's no change in the uh, there's no change in the uh, pressure. Let me go ahead and uh, turn off the engine and see if the uh, pressure will hold. So, it seems like there's a slow leak. I'm not sure where's it coming from. Either from the pump side or it's from this side. So I did a little research online what I read so far that is normal for the uh, PSI to drop slowly after the engine shut off. Right now, it dropped down to 39. Um, this is like 20 minutes ago. This information on the, on the internet saying that it's normal for the, uh, the pressure to slowly drop. If it drops too quickly, then there might be a, a leak somewhere, either in the uh, the fuel pump area, whether it's the check valve over there, or the injector rail area, maybe there's a leak over there. But it seems like um, the pressure is, is holding and slowly falling. Seems like there's no leak in uh, my vehicle. Um, so I still don't understand why I'm getting the um, P0171 coal. I have replaced the uh, the um, the MAF sensor, um, I have checked and see any kind of vacuum leak in the engine area. Um, I didn't see any that's noticeable and I, I sprayed some starting fluid into these hoses here looking for a leak. I didn't find any. I, I used the uh, OBD2 reader and I check and the uh, oxygen sensor, they're fine. Yeah, so not quite sure what causing my engine to run lean. Um, one other possibility, maybe I have a leak after the engine, maybe somewhere before the cat, there's a, um, a leak in the exhaust maybe. Um, I need to look into that, I guess. That's the next thing I'm gonna check. But uh, other than that, I'm still stuck with that coal. Um, I'm running real lean on the long term fuel trim. Um, it's about around like 40 and everything else is uh, somewhat normal so anywho um, I'm continue working on it and I'll keep you up to date as far as what's causing my uh, engine to run lean and thanks for watching and until next time